Dangerous operations of the Second World War. Nearly 3,000 men lost their lives shipping supplies to Russian ports from the West. Today, a group of Scottish veterans were presented with medals marking their contribution. Stephen Godden reports. A proud moment for Jock Dempster, the youngest Scottish veteran of the Arctic convoys. Today, the 82-year-old was one of 30 seamen honoured by Russia for their part in keeping a vital lifeline open during World War II. At the time, Jock was only 16, but 65 years on, the memories are still raw. The weather you could contend with was atrocious weather. What I couldn't contend with, really, could never really get to grips with, was when a ship went down. You steam away and you see people in the water, that's what makes your skin creep. For four years, the Arctic convoys maintained a supply line between Great Britain and cities in northern Russia. The danger to those involved was immense. Described by Winston Churchill as suicide missions, sailors had to cope with atrocious conditions and relentless bombardment from German U-boats, ships and aircraft. In the end, it cost 2,800 British lives. We took them the vital supplies which won them the war on the Eastern Front. But I mean, we weren't taking that down just for our own benefit, it was for everybody's benefit. The fact they won that war gave the world peace. They are really a very bright picture, uh, page, I would say, of the Second World War. It's uh, uh, very well known in, in Russia and uh, very appreciated. The black and orange symbol worn by guests here today is known as the St. George's Ribbon. It's the equivalent of the poppy worn to commemorate those who gave their lives in what the Russians called the Great Patriotic War. For these veterans, today was a chance to remember those lost in the freezing waters, men who earned the lasting gratitude of the Russian people. Stephen Godin reporting Scotland, Edinburgh. Less than a